Hi there, this is Chris Dawson with ZDNet Education. I'm looking right now at Intel's latest convertible classmate. Notice there's a lot of changes here. Uh, the overall look and feel is quite a bit nicer. It's uh, got a, uh, a matte rubber surface, makes it easy to hold, um, certainly makes it a little bit more durable. Notice that we have a little bit different mechanism for turning on the PC. Uh, the previous generation had a uh, kind of kludgy uh, little pull device and uh, now we just have a simple button uh, right on the tablet itself. So we're actually launching right into Windows 7 here. This is Windows 7 Professional that came on this. Uh, you can order from your local OEM uh, beginning today uh, exactly which OS you'd like. Uh, right now it is certified with Windows 7 and Metasys Linux. So let me just pop right in here. Although this isn't anything terribly spectacular or new, uh, it's still a uh, Windows 7 interface. I'm running a Chrome browser and uh, we'll just take a quick look at the keyboard here. As I mentioned in the blog, uh, this little shift key is enough to drive a touch type of nuts. Everything else though works like a champ. And in fact, uh, previous generation we've had some problems with kids popping off the keys because that's fun. Uh, so uh, notice that these keys are actually, hopefully you can see it here, actually very close together, very difficult to get in and pop them. Who knows, hopefully this will keep the, the Rugrats out of trouble. Take a little look here as well. Uh, right now we have a webcam and it rotates a little bit differently than previous generation. Previous generation had uh, detents, uh, which made it a little bit harder to get exactly the view that you wanted. I'm going to get out of my browser here now, and I'm going to flip this around. This is operates much the same way as the previous generation did, and now we are in tablet mode, and this should pop up in just a second. And there it is. Now we're in tablet. We'll flip this over. And just as it notices that I flipped it over, we're flipping it over again. Maybe I need to turn around, huh? Okay, there we go. So now we're in nice tablet mode here. And we can actually just pop off the attached stylus. Can't tell you how many style I have walked away in our uh, deployment, so this is good stuff. Uh, why don't we just take a minute to look at the actual touch interface? So again, nothing new. We can just simply use the, the stylus to access Windows and use whatever we might want. Um, nothing rocket scientific here. Uh, however, we can certainly take a look at ArtRage. If you haven't looked at ArtRage, it comes free with the classmate. It is an outstanding piece of software uh, and allows you to write and draw and do all sorts of great stuff. And it's actually touch sensitive and optimized for this sort of a setting. So we can do everything from mixing, we can use various tools. I'm sure that someone who is far more artistically, artistically inclined than I am could do which is a quick error message from Parents Care Free. It's a piece of software that is uh, used with the classmate to help lock down the interface uh, for kids. Um, someone who's far more artistically inclined than I am could do something much, much cooler with ArtRage. Uh, but hey, what's not to love about a touch sensitive, pressure sensitive, painting program. So we'll just get right on out of this. Uh, the one thing that really is worth pointing out here, uh, in the e-reader software, using Foxit, and oops, there we go. So we're using Foxit. Uh, Foxit will actually now make use of some slick tools or buttons that are built in here. Of course I don't have any uh, books actually loaded, but we should notice that we have uh, home, but we have uh, navigation buttons that will allow you to navigate and move back and forth through a book. 
So now we're in a uh, more traditional uh, kind of side-to-side -side e reader orientation and here we're now in a uh, portrait e reader orientation and uh, Foxit will respond again to uh, the on-screen commands or to the hot buttons that are located right on the machine. The classmate will also tolerate now, uh, it's gone from a 50 centimeter drop that it can tolerate off the desk to a 60 centimeter drop if you have a hard drive, a spinning hard drive, which this little guy has. Uh, you can also manage a 70 centimeter drop with a uh, flash based uh, storage device. So that's pretty cool, a little more durable, a little more rugged. Just notice the ports on the sides here, uh, AC, of course, USB. We now have the, so I refocus. Uh, we can now hide our SD card a little bit better. We can take SD input. Uh, we have, again, under a rubberized surface. So it's a little hard to get to and most kids aren't gonna wanna get to this anyway because that's why we have Wi-Fi. Uh, but we do have our ethernet connection right here. And I'm going to get this out because I should. There we go. So there's Ethernet. We'll flip this over. Take a look at the other ports that are available to us. Uh, we have uh, Kensington lock here. We have stowage right here for the stylus. We have uh, standard VGA out. Uh, microphone in, another USB in, and in fact we have two headphone jacks so kids can share, uh, they can collaborate with the teacher, um, you know, multiple people can use this, uh, use it quietly in class. And finally, uh, you'll notice right here, this particular test unit doesn't have it installed, uh, but this little bump right here says GPS next to it. You can install a GPS on this device and have that be an option, so you can do geolocation, geocaching, all sorts of fun stuff taking your classmate out with you. The classmate also uh, supports now uh, Wi-Fi, uh, supported Wi-Fi in the first place, now supports WiMAX, uh, supports uh, 3G, so you can be connected pretty much anytime, anywhere. So that's about it for this video review. We'll get more information posted today as Intel invites a bunch of kids out from Long Island to Central Park, where they'll be trucking around the Central Park Zoo with their little classmates. And uh, thank you very much, and uh, look forward to putting this thing through its paces a little while longer. Thank you. Bye.